Housing prices have plateaued across parts of the East Coast ahead of the Reserve Bank meeting on Tuesday. The latest data from PropTrack shows Sydney and Melbourne markets clawing back losses on residential prices in the first quarter of the year. The Harbour City saw a turnaround of 0.27%, followed by the Victorian capital on 0.12%. Two-thirds of economists are forecasting another rate rise this week before declining sometime in the second half of the year. And joining me live is REA Group economist Anne Flaherty. And good morning. So whereby demand is exceeding supply and renters and moving further out, we've certainly got affordability bites in all markets, really. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're continuing to see certain suburbs see very high levels of buyer demand. In some suburbs around Australia, we're seeing in excess of 300 potential buyers for every property that becomes available. And what are we actually seeing in the markets that have the biggest perhaps mismatch between supply and demand? Yeah, well, we're seeing this in suburbs around the country, but they often have a few things in common. So what we're seeing is it tends to be outer areas, lifestyle suburbs, areas where the turnover of properties is still quite low. You know, of course, we saw a lot of people move to outer, outer areas during the pandemic, and we haven't really seen that shift reverse. You know, people are still able to work remotely. Um, people still have more flexibility. And this has really led to a permanent shift in where and how people want to live. And what do you uh, think the most demand in demand suburbs have in common? Well, I think that it comes down to that lifestyle aspect. So when we look at the most in demand suburbs around the country, um, a lot of them are in very leafy areas or, you know, close by the water. So, for example, um, Kangaroo Ground and Upper Sturt. Um, so Upper Sturt's in Adelaide, Kangaroo Ground in Melbourne. They were the two most in demand suburbs um, that we saw over the past year. Both of those are really beautiful lifestyle areas. Um, but in those suburbs, we were seeing 500 prospective buyers for every property that became available for sale. And what about renters? Are we seeing renters flock to the same locations? When it comes to people looking to rent houses, we're seeing exactly the same locations pop up. When it comes to uh, unit rentals, we're seeing a bit of a different trend. So, you know, historically, we would have seen more demand for rentals closer into the city. But with rents having increased so much, we're now really seeing a lot more demand in your middle ring suburbs. So areas that are more affordable are getting more traffic, are seeing more prospective tenants for properties that become available. All right, Anne Flaherty, thank you very much for your information. Always a wealth of information. Thank you again. We'll see you next week.